This is Mr. Buffington from Simplify Academy, and today we're looking at points on a plane. We are going to talk about a coordinate plane. We're going to talk about ordered pairs, and we are going to practice, practice, practice with lots of points on those coordinate planes. Let's get into it. First off, a coordinate plane is not an airplane. I <laughs> thought that that was funny, but... Anyway, um, there are a couple of things that you need to know. One is this is the origin. The origin is where the two lines cross right in the middle. This upright line is called the Y axis. And this horizontal line here is called the X axis. These are the three major components of the coordinate plane. There's the x-axis, horizontal, y-axis is vertical, and the origin is the place where those two lines cross at a perpendicular um, angle. Now let's talk about plotting some points on there. Anything that is, when you're moving up and down, anything that is below the x-axis is negative and anything above the x-axis is positive. This is just like what we talked about with a number line. You start at the origin, anything down is negative, up is positive. Also, moving to the left is, is negative, and moving to the right is positive. And just like we were talking about with number lines, that center location's the origin. It would be the origin on an upright uh, number line. It would be the origin on a horizontal number line. And it's the origin of the coordinate plane. All right, now we're going to plot some points. If you are ever given a set of two numbers with a comma between them like that, that is called an ordered pair. And the way that you would use that ordered pair is that the first number tells you the right to left movement, and the second number tells you the up or down movement. So you start at the origin, and in this case we would go 1 to the right, and then 2 up, and that's where we would plot this point. We don't normally draw in those arrows, that was just something to help kind of illustrate. All right. So the first number tells you your movement right or left. Right is positive, left is negative. The second number, up or down. Up is positive, down is negative. Now remember what I said about your x and y axis. The first number, that 1 in this case, we call that our x value. That's the, the value as far as movement on the x axis. So that is the first value. The second number is your y value, or where it would be located on the y axis. We could also write an ordered pair like this, x comma y. That just tells us that the x value is first and the y value is second. All right? That's what this is. And these two numbers put together are called an ordered pair. That's a lot of information, lots of writing on this screen. I think it's about time that we start just practicing with some points. All right, try and think about where this point would go, negative 3, 2. That's the ordered pair, negative 3, 2. Where would we plot that point? Well, first we move left or right. The negative 3 tells us that we're moving three places to the left, or we're lining it up on negative three on the x-axis. Where we line it up on the y-axis is at the point two, positive two, which is right here. That's the point negative three, two. Now let's plot this point, negative one, negative two. So we can line it up with negative one on the x-axis and negative two on our y-axis, to put us at this point right here. And we're going to plot a fourth point, the point 4, negative 1. Try that one out. Where do you think it would be? Don't touch the computer screen. I don't want fingerprints on the monitors. Your parents will get me in trouble. All right. Take a look at where that would be located. 
boom, right there. We go four along the X axis and then negative one on the Y axis. That's where that point would be. We're going to look at four more points and I'm going to try and make this a little bit confusing for you, just for fun, but not too much. Let's look at the point negative four, negative four. That would be located here where the negative four, the first negative four is our X coordinate and the second negative four is our Y coordinate. The point negative four, positive four would be right here. Four, negative four would be located here and positive four, positive four would be here. So you can see that all of these are the number four, but it's important which ones, which order they are and which numbers are positive versus negative. So you will definitely have practice doing this on the worksheet and on the quiz. So take a look at that and just think about what each coordinate or ordered pair represents and each number inside of that ordered pair. Now we're going to plot some points. I have a couple of points for you here, four points I'd like you to go ahead and plot. So I want you to take a minute and plot all of those points that you see up there. And if one of the points looks a little bit weird, just ignore that one for now and we'll get to that in just a second. All right, the point, let's start with the point zero one. That would be located right here. It moves zero along the X axis and goes up one place. Then we've got zero negative two, zero right or left, and then it goes down two or negative two on the Y axis. We've also got this blue point here. That would be zero negative one the green point zero positive two. And I wrote the origin there. I'm gonna put that point in. That's also called zero zero, but that's the origin right there. Now, if you notice something about this line or these points, I'm sorry, these points make a line. That line is the Y axis. So if you're going to have points along the Y axis, Look over at the far side at that point that I, or the ordered pair that I wrote over there. On the far right side, I wrote zero comma y. Zero y means that your x value is always zero, and no matter what y value you put in there, it will always be on the y axis. That's zero y represents basically the ordered pair that can be anything on the Y axis. All right, that's what that represents. And you can see that with all of these ordered pairs. Every single one of them has a zero in the X and it doesn't matter what it has in the Y value place. All right, let's take a look at another set of numbers here. In this case, I've actually put four dots and they are all on the X axis. And we're gonna try and figure out the rule for the X axis. So label those points. What do we have for those points? I'll start off with the first one. The orange one is one comma zero. See that? With the orange point, we go to the right one and we don't go up or down. So our X value is one, our Y value is zero. We're staying on that X axis. Label those other three points and try and see if you can find a pattern with those numbers. Go. Welcome back. Here are our ordered pairs. Four zero is the red point. Negative three zero is the blue point. And negative two zero is our green point. The pattern with this is that you have some X value and then you always have zero for your Y value. That is the pattern for all points along the X axis. Now let's talk about one more thing and then we'll finish up this lesson. There are basically inside of the coordinate plane, you'll see I have four points and I've been pretty deliberately putting four points um, into these each quarter. Um, and those quarters have special names. They are called quadrants. So we are going to name the quadrants and the quadrants do have names 
that are officially there and set. First off, let's talk about quadrant. Um, they're the quadrants right there. Quadrant one is the green section over here. Everything to the right of the Y axis and up from the from the X axis is in quadrant one. Quadrant two is over there on the left of the X axis and above the Y or sorry on the left of the Y axis and above the X axis. Quadrant three is down in the bottom left hand corner. Quadrant four is down in the bottom right corner. Those are the quadrants. Now points inside of these quadrants will always look the same. Let's start with quadrant two. Inside of quadrant two, every X value will be negative and every Y value will be positive. The X values are negative because you're moving to the left. The Y values are positive because you're moving up. Compare that with quadrant one. In quadrant one, everything is positive, positive, because we're moving right and up. In quadrant three, it's negative, negative, because we move left and down. And quadrant four is positive, negative, because first we move to the right and then we move down. So each of those quadrants have numbers that will coordinate with them. And you can know if you see an ordered pair that has a negative negative, you don't even need to plot the point. You know it's in quadrant three. And to prove that point, I'm going to actually label the, the four points that we have here. We have negative two, positive one. Look, it's a negative and a positive. We have positive five, positive one. Notice positive, positive. We've got a negative negative down in quadrant three and a positive negative in quadrant four. That's the way they will always go. So let's practice that real quick. Looking at that as our quadrant kind of um, cheat sheet over there on the top, I want you to tell me, and you do not need to plot this point, but which quadrant would have the point one, negative two? Which quadrant would have that point? Well, one is positive and two is negative, so that's going to be in quadrant four. I do not need to plot that point. I just need to know it's a positive number and a negative number. In other words, it moves to the right and down. That's quadrant four. How about the point negative three, negative two? Which quadrant would that be in? That's in quadrant three because it moves left and down. Right, negative, negative. That's in quadrant three. And the last one we'll look at, which in which quadrant is the point 15, 20? I purposely picked this one because I know it's far outside of this actual um, coordinate plane that I have here. You can't plot the point 15, 20 on this graph, but you can know which quadrant it's in because it's a positive number and a positive number. That's going to be in quadrant one. Couple things to keep in mind. Y values move up or down from the origin. X values move right to left. Your ordered pairs are always going to be in this order, X, Y. So right and left movement, and then up and down movement. And as far as your quadrants go, you wanna keep a copy of this somewhere because you will definitely need it for the worksheet and for the quiz. Good luck on the worksheet, make sure to practice, and good luck on that quiz. Have a wonderful day.